Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, today taking another look at the 2013 MacBook Air and answering the question whether it's a good computer to buy or not. Now, the MacBook Air is arguably the most attractive, durable, thin and light laptop on the market right now, and these are all qualities you'd want in a laptop. So let's go ahead and start by talking about what's good about the 2013 MacBook Air. Well, the first thing about the MacBook Air that you really have to start by talking about is the design. For one thing, the MacBook Air's aluminum chassis is near perfect, so much so that Apple has gone nearly four years without making a major change to it. Now, also, the MacBook Air is ridiculously thin. If you use a MacBook Air for the first time, you'll be astounded by how thin Apple has managed to get their smallest notebook computer. Now, on paper, the MacBook Air's low-power, dual-core Intel Core processor inside the tiny machine may seem modest, but it has been optimized to handle nearly anything you could throw at it. Web browsing, HD video, and light photo and editing tasks are well within the scope of the MacBook Air. It also provides users with an entire workday's worth of power before having to recharge, which is really nice for people who use their computer a lot. Apple's multi-touch trackpads are the best you'll find on any laptop, and the MacBook Air is no different. Spacious and responsive, you'll never have to think about getting the cursor where it needs to be on the screen, or having to click a certain part of the trackpad. The keyboard is also quite excellent, although some PC makers are slightly ahead of Apple as far as the keyboard goes. Now, coders, gamers, and creative professionals will probably need a slightly more high-powered laptop than the MacBook Air, but if you're just wanting something that's good for relatively low-power web browsing and relatively simple offline tasks, the MacBook Air is a, a great computer choice. Apple's higher-end MacBook Pro laptops are objectively more powerful, but for most people, the added benefits of the MacBook Pro just don't justify the extra cost. But for everything good about the MacBook Air, it does seem like there is some bad stuff about it as well. While we're talking about costs, let me go ahead and begin by saying that the MacBook Air starts at $999, which is quite a high asking price given that it is 2013 and high power laptops are becoming more commonplace. For $999, you'll be, you'll be, it'll be easy to find a Windows PC that matches or beats the MacBook Air specs. Arguably, it won't have as good a design, but it will have, be, have, have more high power and it'll be probably better for the value. Now another thing about the MacBook Air is the display. Now the MacBook Air's display has always been good, but PC competitors are beginning to move to 1080p HD displays and the MacBook Air is showing signs of age. With that said though, the MacBook Air screen is definitely still above average, but you know, it's, it better be for that price. So I mean, the decision whether or not to get the MacBook Air 2013 really comes down to what you're looking for in your laptop. If you're looking for a premium design and are willing to pay for that, the MacBook Air is certainly for you. However, if you want more for your money, I would recommend going with either a Windows PC or hybrid of some sort. But let me know what laptop you like in the comments below. Let me know whether you plan to get or have already gotten the 2013 MacBook Air. Let me know if you plan to get it for anyone for Christmas. And I will see you next time. So, bye.